I want to start by saying Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharashai, Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharashai, Kohala Yahawa by Shim Yarashai, Kohala Yahawa by Shim Yarashai, by Shim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles that a great millstone that told me this doctrine in truth and sincerity. Shalom unto the elect. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, which means he is or he exists. By Hashem in the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We know his name to be Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer. He is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. By Hashem in the name of the Rakak Kodash, which means the Holy Spirit, that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. Your so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native American, or other speckled bird looking like the other nations in your spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh by Hashem Shai, then you could be one of the elect. Shalom. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went off following after false gods and false idols, not following the law, such commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sitting in captivity. But through our Lord Yahweh Shai, Hamashai, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, He's been given all power to be able to sit on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to the elect, the ones that would be quickened with the Holy Spirit, to be able to understand these scriptures and would be able to be guided um, down that straight path, which is a position of difficulty um, with the wisdom that Yahweh Shai has given his elect, okay, to be able to understand that we're headed into what perilous times, a time of what Jacob's trouble, where there's going to be a lack of. Uh, um, resources where well, there's going to be a great famine, pestilence, evils on the earth, and the Lord has told us to what be circumspect, paying attention, watching as well as praying, and seeking the Lord while He may be found. Okay, um, you know, and in that, you know, you're seeing the downfall of our enemy. Okay, Esau, Edom, and his rulership, his military, um, which is America. Okay, known as what the the hammer of the earth. Okay, is being uh, uh, weakened. Okay, they don't have uh, the military force like they once did, um, you know, and, and their um, people don't even have that American spirit where they even want to join into these different wars because they see that the wars that are happening, they're just senseless wars and they're all set up for the elites. All wars are what bankers wars. Okay. And what you're seeing is that through these uh, devils pushing propaganda, and, you know, um, going for land grabs, okay, you have a lot of people that are getting deleted, okay? And then that people are what fearful of even being a part of the military, okay? But that's why Esau Edom is what pushing forth, um, you know, the draft, you know, where, where everybody, you know, is going to be drafted, even these women, okay? And now you have what this right here, it says desperation, U.S. Navy will now enlist applicants who have not graduated from high school or obtained the GED, OK, so that also is going to go for, you know, people that have mental illnesses. OK, which, you know, basically everyone here in Babylon, the great, which is America, OK, has a mental illness from what this, you know, uh, devil being in power. OK, through what the foods, the GMO foods, you know, and that's why you have a lot of kids that have what autism. OK, or they have, um, you know, back in my day was uh, ADHD. OK, and it's all from these different foods, the barium, aluminum in the air. OK, and now these devils want you to what go and fight in these wars for them. OK, and ultimately anybody that's in the in the military is going to be caught up in the destruction. OK, because what what's happening with these military troops, they're, they're getting sent over um, to fight in what uh, the Middle East. OK, which is what um, the Yahweh's judgment. OK, Yahweh's Shapat. OK, ultimately to what, um, you know, be, you know, be charcoal for the fire. OK. So it says the U.S. Navy will start to enlist applicants who have not graduated from high school or obtained a GED as the service continues to struggle with its recruiting goals. So this goes into the um, Egypt, which is um, spiritual Egypt is what America, where they're erring in their ways, because before they were once what stout, they were once what vigorous, okay, where they could just dominate any any nation, okay, and that all started through um, the Lord, you know, um, you know, being that golden cup. You know, as far as uh, the Lord, what's stirring up, you know, Babylon the Great to be this great kingdom, okay, with their military and also with their, their um, you know, their commerce, as far as with the petrodollar, they were able to dominate, okay, but now the wisdom's being taken out of Timon and their military is beginning to be weak, and these different nations are seeing that America is weak and what they um, see blood in the water, okay, and that's what they're doing, they're, they're beginning to what, attack, okay, 
and they're attacking what their their military because you know and that's how our lord's going to be coming too he's going to be coming with that great sword first he's coming with um you know his uh servants okay the prophets that are coming with what that holy sword far as the bible okay and, and then when it when it becomes what that time okay when esau edom becomes what carnal the hour of temptation that's when the lord's going to intervene for what the the very elect Okay, but those that are what joined into this navy or joined into the system are going to get caught up in the destruction. Okay, so this is uh, the U.S. Navy will start to enlist applicants who have not graduated from high school or obtained GED as the service continues to struggle with its recruiting goals. Yeah, so even with that, the high school equivalency is just what set up so you can just be a slave. Okay, because really you should be learning what a trade. You know, as far as what you're going to be doing, you know, when you're a carpenter, you learn how to be a carpenter. You, you know, you do um, if you're, you know, um, you know, work on cars, you work on cars. OK, and that's how it should be set up. But what Esau Edom does is he sets it up where you can be able to be indoctrinated in these different colleges and spend all this different money. And really, it's just a Ponzi scheme okay, that these devils run. OK, and even with the military. You know how they push the military. They push it as a good thing. Meanwhile, they don't take care of their people that are in the military. Okay. They leave their people what astray. Okay. And, and with this military, with this war coming up, World War Three, which is, which is um, prophecy. Okay. A lot of people are going to get caught up in the, in the crossfire. A lot of casualties. Okay. It says we get thousands of people into our recruiting stations every year that want to join the Navy, but do not have an education credential. And we just turn them away. It says Navy's chief and personal set of the change, according to report, the new plan allows recruits who don't have an education credential to enlist as long as they score a 50 or above out of 99. The qualification test, according to the report, marking the first time the Navy has allowed such recruits since the year 2000. OK, and this is going to lead to what a lot of errors. OK, because, again, a lot of these people also have what the, uh, the, the Juicy J. OK. And when they turn up these different frequencies and these different, you know, um, you know, these these uh, super soldiers, because you also have that, too, where you have the super soldiers, the Captain Americas that with these different uh, robots. OK, that are, you know, that were, um, you know, transhumanism. OK, which they're also trying to push where you're going to have these certain uh, robots, you know, um, robots fighting in these different wars. And even you have it now where you have the drones that are what doing major damage. Where you had, I believe it was seven um, people hit. I said seven or three people hit, you know, from a drone. Okay, which is that that's going to lead to what America, what uh, on the on the attack. Okay, which they already were. U.S. gives chilling nuke warning over recent Iran attack that left several U.S. soldiers dead. Okay, so now what? There's blood. So now what is that going to lead to? America, you know, America's pride where they're going to go in. Okay, which they're already they're already there. They already been there. Okay, but now it's just escalating. It says U.S. President Joe Biden has been given a chilling nuclear warning over attacking Iran after three U.S. soldiers were killed by kamikaze drone. Ex U.N. Uh, weapons inspector David Albert said that the rogue state could be led into thinking that the building nuclear warheads is their best way out if they are directly targeted by the U.S. in retaliation of the deaths. So, this is what the Lord said that would happen. Okay, let's get some scriptures. Um, so with the, the, the military being weak, okay, let, let's get that first. Okay, that look, that makes America look, um, you know, suspect, okay? This is Habakkuk 2. Habakkuk 2 and 16, thou art filled with shame for glory, drink thou also, and let the foreskin be uncovered, the cup of Yahweh's right hand shall be turned into thee, and shameful spewing shall be on your glory. Okay, so uh, America being once known as what that, that great uh, military, you know, great military is now what being depleted. Okay, now you have people that don't even want to join into the, into the war because they see what's going on. Okay, and they see that people are just getting mass uh, uh, killed. Okay, Habakkuk 2 and 16, but soon it will be your turn to be disgraced. Come drink and be exposed. Yet yeah, drink of what? The cup of slavery, just like we have drunk of the cup and be exposed. And they're being exposed that they're nothing but um, nothing but a nation that goes about rape, robbing, pillaging these different nations, pushing what Americanization. Okay, 
It says, come drink and be exposed. Drink of the cup of the Lord's judgment and all your glory would turn to shame. And that's what's happening. Their glory is becoming to shame. So much so where they're, they're so desperate where they got to, you know, um, they, they don't even follow their own rules. Now they got to lower it where they have transformers. They have, uh, um, you know, women in their um, military. OK, which is going to which leads to what? A lot of what um, a lot of things happening that normally wouldn't happen if it was just guys. OK. And all your glory will return to shame. And that's what's happening. And also um, with their military, you know, going after people that basically have um, a lot of people. A lot of these people have mil mental illnesses. OK, which is going to lead to when when they're when there's pressure on them, they're going to bug out. OK. And plus. When, when they're over there in these wars, okay, their family's not going to be safe here in America because domestically there's there's a war going on too, okay, between, you know, um, well, different different things, okay, a um, manifold, you know, uh, a poly crisis, black swan events, okay, Isaiah 19 and 14, the Lord Yahweh have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof as a drunken man staggereth and vomit. So a lot of those people too that have that are slow at learning what, what's happened. They, you know, where their families were on drugs. Okay. Um, they might've lost, you know, certain people in the war. Okay. Where they came back, they didn't have their whole family. Okay. Because of these wars that are going on, you know, in Vietnam, you have lost a lot of people. And then when they came back, they were on heroin. Okay. Then they, um, and then the eighties, you had the crack epidemic. Okay. Now you have what the, the crystal and the, and the fentanyl. So there, there's a lot of, uh, and then also you have the man on man, woman on woman. So you have a very perverse spirit here in what, um, spiritually Egypt, which is America. Okay. And also what they have, what erred in their ways. Okay. Far as they're not as strong as they once were. They don't follow. They once did, you know, somewhat follow the Bible. Okay. But now what they, they don't even follow the Bible. Okay, they they were once you know known as you know a family you know where they were, you know here to start a family. Now you're seeing people they're just they want to stay in their own country because they see that what uh, America is what falling, and their heir. Right. So this word heir. Strong's H eighty five eighty two. Ta'ah. Ta'ah. Ta'ah in the Hebrew eighty five eighty two to err to wander to go astray to stagger. OK, and so they're beginning to stagger in with their own vomit. OK, like a drunkard, because what they're, they're drinking of their own uh, Kool-Aid, thinking that they could be able to come against the most high. So now they're wandering, um, you know, to find certain ways how they can be able to control the people. But there's nothing working. OK, that speaks about in Job 20 in the fatness of the sufficiency. They shall be in straits. OK, to wander about physically. So they're physically. They're not, they're not stronger than Russia, okay? Physically, they're not stronger than China, okay? And even with them, you know, the B system uh, is being spearheaded by what uh, America and the NATO joined unto it, they're still not uh, um, stronger than what um, the BRICS nations, okay? So they are physically, what, weak, okay? And they've been intoxicated, okay, with thinking <laughs> that they could, first of all, come against the men of the Lord, but that they could even uh, fight against these other nations too. So they are intoxicated. They have what, um, they are what, um, and now they are what beginning to what uh, vomit out, you know, um, you know, any existence of, of them thinking that they're going to be able to, uh, win this war. Okay. And what's the, what's the war? The war is already set up by Yahabba Shema Shai from the beginning, the ancient of time. Okay. So, yeah, to be led astray ethically. Yeah, and that's the reason why this place is um, ultimately being destroyed because of the lack of reference and the, the crucifying of our Lord, okay? Um, spiritually, spiritually what crucifying our Lord ethically, okay? So now they were wandering in intoxication and they are what physically weak, okay? Because also when you're, when you're drunk, you become what, uh, you're weak. You don't actually know um, certain uh, uh, movements and they're making movements that are gonna lead them to what, be misled into what the trap, okay? Because Yahabba Shema Shai is actually has them in a trap and a snare, okay? That's why it speaks about in Psalm 17, it speaks about, um, you know, King David saying, uh, disappoint thy sword, okay? Which is what, um, you know, Esau, which is Esau Edom, the so-called white man, okay? And they have erred in their ways and they are intoxicated, but they're still going to fight. Why? Because of their pride, okay? This is Proverbs 16 and 5. 
Proverbs 16 and 5. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to Yahweh, though hand joined in hand, he shall not be unpunished. So anybody that joins in these different militaries, they're going to find out um, the Lord doesn't want you in the military. Okay. And what that's going to lead to is that's going to lead to you being sent over you, over there or you going AWOL. Because that's another thing, too, where people are going to begin to go AWOL, which AWOL means that basically you leave post. OK, and then you could be put in uh, the brig for um, not complying with uh, what you signed because you signed the contract. OK, and then that uh, uh, these different wars, what Egypt, which is um, spiritually what America or Saki is America today. Egypt is um, this is spiritually what um Egypt, Saki America is what spiritually Egypt, okay? And they have what erred in their ways. And now what they are ready for what to pray, okay? And anybody that's joined with this devil is going to get caught up in the destruction, okay? Six, by mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of Yahweh, men depart from evil. So we're supposed to be departing from evil, not joining in. Not joining in what Esau Edom's uh, uh, military to see uh, to fight for a country because you have people over there where they're fighting for a country. They're go they were already going over there to Ukraine. Okay. And that's that illusion by thinking that, um, you're, you're fighting for your country because they don't care about you. Okay. Cause when these, uh, different, uh, militaries, when different people what fight in the wars, what do they come back? A lot of the homeless people that you see are the ones that are on drugs. Those be a lot of those be veterans. Why? Because they went over to a war and then they came back and they didn't have anything. Their family didn't love them. They have PTSD. They're all bugged out. Okay. It's all because of this devil wants to keep what? Rape, rob, and pillaging. Sirach 26 and 28. There be two things that I grieve my heart. And the third maketh me angry. A man of war that suffered poverty. A man of understanding that are not set by. And one that returned from righteousness to sin. The Lord prepares such as one for the sword. Okay. And that's what's happening is what Esau Edom's kingdom is being prepared for what the sword. Okay, because the Lord's armory is actually what these different uh, militaries. Okay, and when you don't, um, you know, when you have men that go to war and you don't, you don't pay them, okay, or you don't help, you know, help them. What the Lord hates that. Okay, because even right now we're in a spiritual war. Okay, and ultimately the Lord will what uh, pay us back if we're of the elect. Okay, if we depart from evil. Okay, because the Lord is not playing with the wicked. Proverbs 16 and 4, the Lord Yahweh had made all the things for himself, yet even the wicked for the day of evil. Okay, and what the Lord has done as he has weakened what the, the military and made them what uh, soft like women. Okay, and some of them are women. Okay, and when you hear these certain stories, um, you know, a lot of these men, they don't want uh, women behind them. Okay, as far as backing them up, they would rather have a man. Okay, so this is Jeremiah 51 and 30. Why? Because a man is the, is the stronger vessel. The woman is the weaker vessel, right? Jeremiah 51 and 30. The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holds. They might have failed. They have become as women. They have burned her dwelling places. Our bars are broken because eventually what's going to happen is what Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed. They're going to be hit with certain of uh, these different warheads are going to be firing off. Okay, the Lord said in Revelation there's going to be over, what, 200 million missiles. Okay, and even right now you have where people don't want to join into the war, which means that they're going to bring, what, the draft. And they don't care if you are, uh, you know, so-called slow. Okay. Um, so it's Jeremiah 51 and 30 in the NLT. Our mightiest warriors no longer fight. Yeah, so they no longer fight because even when they, when they go over to these certain wars, they just dominate the, you know, you're basically surviving civilians. They're not even fighting the, you know, the actual warriors from the other countries. Okay, they're just going and stealing what they can steal from these certain peoples, the ones that they know that are weak. Okay, or they infiltrate it, you know, through the different spies and things like that. Okay, this is the devil. Jeremiah 51 and 30, her mightiest warriors no longer fight. They stay in the barracks, their courage gone. Yeah, their courage gone. You know, back in the day, you used to have that American, you know, that American spirit, uh, you know, on them people. You know, the, the American flag, the Confederate flag, all that, you know, let's fight for our country, all that, that, that was going on. Okay. Even and that kind of came back with the Trump spirit. Okay. But now they're beginning to see that these guys are just the same people. Okay. The government is the same exact people. They're not doing nothing different. It's just, they paint one side as, you know, opposite as the other side. And then they give you, you know, two choices, which is ultimately they've already been selected. Who's going to be in power. Okay. You don't have a choice. Okay, you don't have a, um, you know, a vote in the society. Okay, Jeremiah 51 and 30. 
It says her mightiest warriors no longer fight. They stay in barracks, their courage gone. They have become like women. The invaders have burned the houses and broken down the city gates. Yeah, because in this time right now that we're in, we're in a time where you have, um, you know, where men act like women, okay? And, and vice versa. Women try to act like men, okay? Um, where the women, they're feminists, which feminist just means you're trying to act like a man. OK, and then you have what the, the men were ask, acting um, you know, uh, feminine, OK, estrogen, right, instead of masculinity. OK, why that's that goes into the foods, but that also goes into the, the society that you have. OK, uh, men are no, no longer men anymore. Okay, men don't want to be men no more. They want to be soft. Why? Because that, that's the metropolitan. Uh, when you go into the word metropolitan, it goes into what a uh, woman. Okay, a, a woman, a woman city, and what what happens? You go to the instead of going out and hunting for your food, okay? You go to the store. You go to the Seven Eleven or Walmart or or Food for Less, whatever it may be, and you go to these places, and that has made us soft, where we don't know certain skills like the start of you know start a fire or you know to to be camping. You know, if you had to be outside, okay? These things that we once knew, now they've um, we've become trusted in what our government. OK, and when you trust in the government, OK, they feed you all sorts of things because government means what mind control. OK, that's why the Lord's saying what stand up manfully. This is second Ezra 14 and 16. It says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee in haste to flee from these times for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen. Happy shall be done hereafter for look how much the world shall be weaker through age so much more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. For the truth is fled far away, and leasing is hard at hand. For now haste the vision to come which thou hast seen. So again, and Nazareth was, you know, saw a he heavy visions. Okay, all the things that are going on right going on right now. Okay, that Ezra saw. Also the, the second coming of our Lord. Okay, and Ezra said what right here. This is second Ezra 14 and 13. Now, therefore, set thy house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now that weak nature. So put off that soft nature. Does that mean go join in the military? No. Put off that soft nature and what? Gird up your loins like a man. Okay? Because we're in a warfare. This is a spiritual war that's being played out. Okay? When it gets physical, as far as when Esau Edom comes in like a flood, the Lord's going to lift up that standard for his elect. Okay, but right now we have to, again, gird up our loins, mentally and spiritually fit, trusting in Yahweh Bashem Okay, because this place is about to get invaded. Okay, we're seeing that far as these different immigrants that are coming through, whether it's a PSYOP or not, it's set up to be able to control. Okay, and also these people that are in the world, they see what's going on. They see that the, the, the this war is real. It's not just you, you go, to, uh, go to a certain place, you're in a, uh, these different Navy ships, you go to a place, you, you know, you do whatever on a certain place and then you come back and then you go to college and everything's good. No, you're going to actually have to be in war. OK. And they no longer want to fight. Right. So going over here to this word for born. OK. They have become what flabby. They've become weak and sick. <clears throat> OK. So even when these people, you know, they draft these people that are, you know, whatever going on with them. OK. It's not going to it's not going to help. <laughs> the Lord, there's no, there, yeah, there's no, uh, Jeremiah, um, yeah, 51, there's no healing Babylon. And how is this place going to be burned with those ICBM missiles, Saki? Let's get this word, hath failed. <laughs> Strong's H, 5405, Nashath. Not yeah, to eliminate, okay? And a lot of these people are going to be what eliminated by what the fire that's coming, okay? To fail, and that's exactly what's going to happen. These different militaries, uh, Esau Edom's military is what's going to fail, okay? So I can bear with me. I keep going past it. Yeah, right here. Okay, it's the first one. Strong's H twenty three oh eight. Chadel. Chadel. Okay. In the form 
just below that. Chadeel. Chadeel. Yeah, to cease, to leave off, to come to an end. So Esau, Edom's military is what? Beginning to what? Come to an end. Because the Lord has set a judgment upon, um, you know, uh, Babylon the Great and its military. And they become what? Flabby. Okay, they become weak. Okay. Uh, lacking, idle, you know, idle, sitting around, you know, kicking it. They're not, they're not, their sword's not being sharpened. Okay. And what, what's happening with Russia, they've already been sharpening their sword. China, they already been sharpening their sword. Okay. While America has been unoccupied, they've just been chilling. Okay. And ultimately they're going to be what left off. This says, let's see what this word says. <laughs> Desist. It says, yes, yeah, cease, abstain, refrain, forbear, hold back. And they're going to be holding back. Why? Because also um, when they when, when people are drafted into the war, OK, they're going to be talking to their families and they're going to know that what what's going on in America is not good either. So they're going to want to stay back, which is going to lead to what some of these uh, military um, people what going AWOL. OK, because and also that's the same thing with the police. The police are going to be what? They're not going to be um, you had in New York City where they don't even um, they don't even want their pension no more. They're saying we want to go to early retirement because they see what's going on. OK, and this is going to lead to what trouble in the city. OK, where people are going to be quitting, leaving off. And that's what they're doing. They're laid off. You know, <laughs> so that's the that's Esau Edom's whole um, military, because those. The military and the and the police, they're they're both the um they're both you know modern day taskmasters for Esau Edom. Okay? And so they have four born, they have come what flabby. Okay, they've rested on their morals and now what now it's time for what the uh the Lord's coming with the kill. Okay, the deletion. Right. So let's go to uh Jeremiah. Fifty and 21 jeremiah 50 and 21 it says go up against the land of marathon even to get let me, let me start from right here actually no, yeah jeremiah 50 and 21 go up against the land of marathon even against it and against the inhabitants of peacock waste and utterly destroy after them said yahweh and do according to all that i have commanded thee yeah because the lord is what commanding what judgment to come upon what um marathon which marathon when you go into the word it goes into what double rebellion okay and we know that what um, uh, the word what Nimrod means what um, a rebellion, okay? And what going back to what ancient Babylon, Babylon means what confusion, okay? So you have a double rebellion uh, here in what Babylon the Great, which goes into Marathon, which is America today, okay? Then you have what the inhabitants of Peacock, which you go into that word Peacock, it goes into what punishment, the punishment that's going to be upon what. Um, spiritually, what Sodom and Gomorrah, which you go into the word Sodom, it goes into what a uh, burning. OK, and you go into the word uh, Gomorrah, it goes into submerged. This place is going to be submerged with what fire. And those that are what in the military, those that are what backed, backing Esau Edom are going to get caught uh, uh, wanting. OK, because the Lord is what put a judgment on this place. Right. So Jeremiah 50 and 22, the sound of battle is in the land of great destruction. So you're hearing the sound of battle. Okay, these different nations are saying we, we we're gonna uh, we're gonna deal with you, and they're actually what pushing their military, where these these different nations are what in a in a mobilization or a war cabinet where all their economy is going um uh, towards what the war, okay. So that sound of battle is in the land. Those war drums, right? Jeremiah fifty and twenty three. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? So that hammer is speaking about Esau is Edom's military. Okay, he has over 800 bases. How is it being broken? First of all, they don't even have the soldiers to be able to fight. Okay, and they also don't have, um, you know, the technology um, that, uh, you know, Russia possesses. Okay, and China possesses as far as the ICBM missiles. They have ICBM missiles, but they don't have the Satan twos. Okay, and they don't have also the alliances. I'm speaking about America come up against Russia because Russia is set up major in the scriptures to what take down America, take down the beast system, right? Jeremiah 50 and 24, I have laid a snare for thee. Who laid a snare for thee? The Lord. Okay, I've laid a snare for thee. And what's a snare? A trap. It says, and thou hast also taken, O Babylon, thou was not aware, thou have found also caught because thou hast striven against the Lord. Okay, and striven goes into what fight? 
Okay, and this is speaking about what Babylon today. Babylon means confusion. Okay, and this is what um, spiritually what Babylon the Great. Okay, it's not speaking about ancient Babylon. Ancient Babylon is over there in Iraq. Okay, which is still what's standing up. Okay, but this Babylon, okay, America is going to be what desolate. Okay, why? Because they have striven against the Lord. Okay, and the Lord has what now beginning to what open his his armory because all these different militaries are actually the Lord's militaries. Iran, Russia, those are the Lord's uh, weapons. Jeremiah 50 and 25, the Lord Yahweh had opened his armory and had brought forth the weapons of indignation. Indignation means righteous anger. For his work of the Lord that powered the host of the land of the Chaldeans. So the Chaldeans would be what the, the you know, the monthly prognosticators, the ones on the left-hand side doing left-hand magic. Okay, they're going to end up what falling. Okay. All as far as their plans, you know, them seeing the future or whatever, them them calling on their left hand and, you know, um, you know, on these gods on the left hand side. OK, none of them are going to work because the Lord's took in the taking the wisdom out of teaming, which are the smartest of the Edomites. Jeremiah 50 and 26 in the NLT. Yes, come up against her from distant lands, break open her granaries, crush her walls and houses to heaps of rubble, destroy her completely and leave nothing. Yeah. So going into these ICBM missiles are going to leave this place what desolate. Okay, you're not going to have, you know, 5,000 square feet are going to be what destroyed, be desolate, nothing but a, a city of uh, owls and, and, and a desert creatures, right? Jeremiah 50 and 27, destroy even her young bulls. It will be terrible for them to slaughter them all for Babylon's day of reckoning has come. Okay, so who are the young bulls? The young bulls would be what the, the youngest uh, people, okay? The people that are um, that are in these different wars, okay? Jeremiah 50 and 29, it says, send out a call for the archers. Who are the archers? Those are those ICBM missiles, right? They're going to be fired from what those uh, silos and those would be the arrows that are being fought, that are being shot out uh, like an archer, right? To come to Babylon, surround the city so no no one can escape to do her as she has, suck it, to do her as she has done others for she has defiled the Lord and the Holy One of Israel. That's right. It says, her young men fall in the streets and die. Her soldiers will all be killed, says the Lord. See, I am your enemy, your arrogant people, says the Lord, the Lord of heaven armies. Your day of reckoning has arrived, the day when I will punish you. Okay, and we're headed into what that day. Okay, when the Lord's going to be one to what, judge these heathen nations. Okay, 32, a land of arrogance, you will stumble and fall. And no one will raise you up, for I will light a fire in the cities of Babylon that will burn up everything around them. This is what the Lord of heaven of army says. The people of Israel and Judah, the northern and southern tribes, the elect, have been, you know, and also, you know, um, also all of Israel, right? The people of Israel and Judah have been wrong. Their captors hold them and refuse to let them go. But one, it says, yeah, so our people have been oppressed in here. It says, but the one who redeems them is strong. His name is the Lord of heaven of armies. He will defend them and give them rest again in Israel. But for the people of Babylon, there will be no rest. That's right. There's going to be no rest for these devils. Okay. Because you have strived against your maker. Right. Jeremiah 50 and 36. It says, the sword will strike her wise counselors and take and they will become fools. The sword will strike her mightiest warriors and panic will seize them. The sword will strike her horses and chariots and her allies from other lands. They will all become like women. The sword will strike her treasures and they will all be plundered. So we know that it's not speaking about chariots, you know, horses and things like that. It's speaking about the, the weapons that they have today. Okay, the, the tanks, the F-15s, the F-35s, okay, these, these drones and things like that. Okay, the sword's going to what strike them down. Who's that sword? Our, our Lord, right? Jeremiah 50 and 38, the sword will even strike her water supply, causing it to dry up. And why? Because the whole land is filled with idols and the people are madly in love with them. Okay. It says, soon Babylon will be inhabited by desert animals and hyenas. It will be home for owls. Never again will people live there. It will, it will lie desolate forever. I will destroy it as I've destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring town, says the Lord. No one will live there. No one will inhabit it. Yeah, because this place is going to be what a land of what... um. A land of uh, a, a memorial of when you strive against your maker, okay, and what you don't do. So with that, call Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakwadash, Shalom to the Lord, Kamei Shalom.